Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Today I am going to show you how to import a AutoCAD file into a Kahoot tool. So um, to add a map into uh, the project, you have to click on this button. Then after that, you have to select the right AutoCAD file for your project. So today I'm going to uh, show you how to do that uh, importing for a typical office layout. So this is the office layout drawing file I got it from Google. You can uh, find multiple um, different layouts from Google. Uh, you can download it and you can try it out uh, yourself. Once you select that, you click on open. Then you can see the progress uh, is happening. Progress in bar uh, shows the progress happening in background. Uh, how they are trying to fetch the drawing uh, layouts in that layers and everything. So once we are done with this uh, progress bar, uh, the importing section, you will get a window that shows the uh, layout of that particular AutoCAD file. When we talk about AutoCAD layouts, in each AutoCAD file, maybe you will have multiple layouts available. So once you got this floor map loader into the system importing uh, in importing section, you can see one button on right hand side that shows that select the different layout of AutoCAD uh, import. So if you click on this one, you will get to know how many layouts you have inside your AutoCAD file. So uh, based on that, you can uh, select the right layout. Normally it will come with A3, A4, so based on their, the standard page setup, you will get the right floor map. Uh, here I'm going to uh, continue with the model. Uh, I'm going to select that model as the layout and I will click on that select and this is the model for that. While importing any AutoCAD file into the system, you have two options on each layer. One, one is, in, one is uh, you can add that in background without having any attribution level and all. So for an example, if you have a room number or something, uh, that will be a text, normal text, and there is no attribution required for that. So these kind of stuffs, you can um, import in background, but you don't have to map any attribution level for that. Uh, so if you want to uh, import anything inside your project as a background, you have to make sure this particular checkbox is selected. In some cases, you you will get a uh, floor map uh, with multiple layers and uh, for an example if you are getting a AutoCAD file with 100 layers ma uh, having uh, like 100, uh, 100 layers inside your AutoCAD file it's impossible to do that importing using this tool because it's uh, very heavy so what you have to make sure is uh, you are selecting the right layers and you are ignoring all the unwanted layers in your project so I'll, I'll select this one then only you will get a uh, view of your uh, map and you, you can select what are the things you want to display in background what are the things you want to add uh, at a national level for an example uh, the second item here that marked as layer name as 2 and I'm not seeing anything highlighted when I select that layer that means you you, you don't have to import this one in your project it's not relevant to your project you can you can select unselect that checkbox so that it will not come into your project. So next one is uh, concrete. Again, in some countries, in some uh, customers, customers means uh, in some companies, they usually follow some standard naming convention for these layers. But most of the time, you will not get that naming convention correctly. So as you can see here, concrete, uh, th this is the uh, short name they use for concrete so when you select this one to identify that layer you can zoom in like this and you can identify that where they are having that marking so each and every layer when you select that layer it will be marked in blue so here uh, I can see that it's a concrete layer so I'm going to select this one as concrete so Akau gives multiple options this, this is the um, this is the standard attribution levels for each layers marked by uh, a Kahoo tool. Either you can select this one or you can add your custom custom uh, wall type. So here I'm going to go with the standard one provided by a Kahoo. So uh, I'm going to select concrete as uh, 12 dBm. So I'm selecting that 12 dBm for concrete. And next layer I'm seeing it as uh, doors. But there is a problem in doors uh, because when you see this doors, right? So 
all the AutoCAD files will have a door section. But problem here is you can see that door kept it open. But if you import this, then it will be coming, it's going to come as uh, a wrong marking in your attenuation level. So you can either avoid it or you can keep it. So it's up to you. So um, here I'm going to keep this one and um, I'm going to mark this one as again default interior office door. Next one is floor. As you can see here, uh, okay, I'm waiting for that. As you can see here, these entire floors are having unwanted markings and anyway this one is not going to uh, affect on our RF planning. So there is no point in adding this particular layer into our project. So I'm going to ignore this layer. I don't need that uh, in our planning. The best part of it, if you unselect this one and select another floor, uh, sorry, another layer, you can see that clear difference. Now, I can say that a uh, lot of junk things gone out and your map is clean. So I, I unselected that. I don't want to add that floor uh, because it's not relevant to wireless planning. So next one is furniture. You can either ignore this one or you can add it. It depends on furniture type used in that location. If that furniture level is uh, is not going to make any attenuation uh, on your on your uh, on your RF planning, then you can ignore it by adding that in background. If you are thinking that it's going to affect your attenuation, uh, this attenuation is going to affect your RF, then please import it. So you have to get that information from the right point of contact from the customer. So uh, here I'm going to import this one as a cubicle. So the advantage of this particular cubicle uh, attenuation wall type is the height of that uh, uh, height of that attenuation will be one meter. That's how I configured that. So I'm going to uh, use this as cubicle. I'm going to import this as a uh, cubicle. Next one is uh, plaster. Plaster is again, you don't have to worry about that uh, naming convention. You can see what is marked as plastering. So it's a normal plastering done it on the wall. So we can ignore that. Looks like, uh, I'm not sure. So based on your requirement, you can change that. So I'm going to just import in background. San again, uh, it's a sanitary, uh, short form of sanitary um, uh, things in the bathrooms and all so if this one is coming under your uh, Wi-Fi requirement you can import it again uh, that cubicle uh, terminology will be applicable here either you can Im import it or you can ignore it so I always I will keep it in background just in case if you want to refer something I'll keep it the next one is the text so definitely this text will be marked with some other names and room numbers and also um, uh, this text normally they will use this text layer only to identify uh, give the identification number of the room number if you have a conference room you will be having the conference room numbers and all so uh, it's highly recommended to keep it in background so that you can identify the AP locations based on this numbering system the naming convention used in uh, their office I'll, I'll keep that so next item is wall type uh, in a typical office you can see that uh, entire walls are made in plaster paris like it will be like uh, not plaster paris it, it's called as uh, false wall so uh, in a typical uh, officers uh, build recently it will have all the internal walls uh, like dry walls otherwise it will be uh, typical concrete walls like concrete wall means uh, brick wall so so I'm considering this one as an old building that is constructed in brick wall. So I'm going to select this wall as brick wall. Then next one is uh, they marked as window line. As we know, all the windows will be glass normally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this particular layer, window uh, layer with uh, glass. So uh, as you can see here, you can see that uh, blue marking right so this is the window layer we are talking about so 99 percentage is a glass partition we are referring here so i'm going to put the high uh, high thick uh, the uh, thicker window layer here so that will have 3 db so you have to make sure you have only one layer uh, with 3 db if that glass partition having mo more than one layer you have to consider that and you have to add that wall type into the system 
So uh, once we done with all the markings, you can click on import and it will do the importing in background. It will take some time based on how many layers you have to process, what is the size of your floor plan. Once we are done with all the importing, you can see the progress here. They have 34 steps or something to complete based on the floor map you provided to a Kahoot tool. So sometimes if it's uh, very small and uh, something like this, it will be finishing very fast. Otherwise, it can take hours to do that importing. Looks like this floor plan is uh, coming up very fast, so we'll wait for it to complete. Okay, so it's done. So as you can see here, you can see all these wall types. So I'm going to zoom in. Wall types are marked with uh, red. This red color referred to your wall type as brick wall. Then this is the glass partition. You can change the wall type, right? It's a partition you can give here, see here. So when I select the door, so this time it came correctly. Instead of having this curve, it's selected as a straight line. As you can see here, this door came nicely in the floor plan. So this is how we um, normally do importing. So uh, one more thing, AutoCAD importing. So one more thing you have to keep it in mind is the wall types. So when we are talking about importing a floor plan, we will not find all the layers in the in the Akahu tool by default. So what you have to do is you have to make sure all the required wall types are added in your list of items, list of uh, this drop down list. Okay, so you can collect all the uh, required information from customer and based on that you can add your, uh, your wall types into this one. To add a wall type, you have to click on this uh, custom button and you can type whatever you want. So if you want to add uh, something like uh, okay so you have a brick wall having very thin uh, size and your attenuation level is um, attenuation level is only 1 dBm or something then you can put thin dry wall then you can mention instead of 3 dBm you can mention 1 dB 1 dB and once you added this this thin wall will be available for you to use it from next project onwards or while importing it. So uh, this is how you um, normally do the AutoCAD file importing and based on your size and everything scale will change and um, we'll, we'll, um, uh, we'll explain uh, how to do the next steps in going forward. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support.